Warning, this fucking video is not for kids. So, karma happened to an individual named Umbrella Robster 97 And, to be honest, I'm not surprised that this was exposed. And I'm kind of glad I did, because one, I knew about this for about two or three months now. And I tried telling them that they didn't listen, but that's okay, because there isn't an evidence about it. Now, I'll explain to y'all how I knew about this. In one of his streams, he admitted that he lied to a 15-year-old girl saying that Umbrella was underage when he is actually 25. Well, he's 26 now, so he's basically my age now. And he claimed that his grandfather confronted him, but in reality, his her biological dad came on to him and started confronting him. And then he was acting all guilty. Um, you know what? I think that video, uh, I forgot what was that dude's name. Let me look. I think the guy who uploaded, I think it's Vince Russer Fears, whatever his fucking name is. I'm just going to play a clip. I'm not going to play the whole video. So there you go. You. This is his dad. Okay. Hello? Why are you talking to my 15-year-old? Wait, what? Wait, what the hell? I think he meant business. I know. The bio lets Kylie, and she's around 15, and they, they don't have a problem with that, so why is this dude having a problem? When someone's underage, they basically, it just doesn't look right. No, I'm not talking. Yeah, because honestly, and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna say this right now, like, I'm around, like, on my teenage year, so what's the difference? Like, seriously, what is the difference? Oh, God, he's for real. He said he'll call police. Oh, shit. I all right, I'll let this person in, but just just bear in mind, I'm just a teenager, okay? I want to hear what you have to say. I'm just a teenager. Hello? How old are you? I'm I'm around your your yeah, I'm around 15. Why? You're 15? Yes, I'm a teenager. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I thought I thought you were an old guy. No, why would it be like 80 or something? I don't know. Hey, well, not 80. I, I thought I'm sorry, pal. I thought you were like in your 20s, like, you know what I mean? You know I got to look out for my kids. A few moments later. 19. I'm 12. Well, I mean, that's fine. I mean, yeah. look, we have other we have other people, and they're pretty young, and they watch your stuff. And do we have a problem with that? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> so you're saying you're a lot older than me and JTJ, there, Umbrella Robster? Oh yeah, I'm actually like uh, tw uh, I'm actually 25. So, but you know, do I have a problem? Um, I'm gonna let my older brother take this, and he's 25. So just be aware of that, you know. And he, he's pretty nice, you know. Leaving this channel or whatever to my older brother, and he's 25, and he can defend. You know, Brittany, but I don't. But then again, her father doesn't want grown ups around her. Yeah, like, sir. Um, I just want to say I have an older brother. He's twenty five. I can make sure he can protect your daughter. Nah, I mean he'll probably try to have sex with her. No, he's to let my daughter around men over eighteen. Yo, dude, he's eighteen. Well, well is he gonna change the channel name? Is he gonna change the channel name? Well, no, no, no. Just I don't, it won't be the same though. No, no, no. I have a twin older brother. It's just that um, we have the same. That doesn't make sense. You can't have a twin. He's gonna keep the logo. Wait, you have a twin older brother? No. Yes. All right. In a way, it's it's complicated. Well, it's complicated. Wait, 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 wait. I, I just want to say this. Whoa, 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 whoa! Twin older brother? That's not really twins, dude. I mean, you, you have to be born like on the same day or something. But if you say he's your older brother, but he's your twin brother, that's not that's not twins. So yeah, you're lying. You're not. You're not fifteen. You don't have an older. I, I mean, he says he has a brother, but I don't know if his brother's older i forgot but it doesn't matter he's lying um i have more there's more video on that but i've already showed enough now i've heard about this all before because he admitted that but there's a thing what he said was a girl's grandfather approached well i think i've said this before but i didn't know he had but he never said about an older brother or anything like that so yeah, that, that one's new to me, so... And uh, my thoughts about this whole situation, I have to be honest, I'm not surprised that this is getting exposed. And I'm actually glad it is getting exposed. But, here's the thing. I made about... Let's say about, I guess, a month or two. Um, I made a really stupid decision on giving him a chance again because there isn't any evidence. I know that's... A really shitty excuse, and I have to say, I'll admit, 
that was a really stupid thing for me to do. And I, I should have known better not to do that. I guess I just have a bad habit on making stupid choices sometimes and and falling and giving a predator another chance is one of those stupidest choices that I've ever made. But I'm not going to continue to make this choice to make these stupid ass choices anymore. And I am not giving him another chance no you are finished you're done so yeah the reason why i trusted him again is because i thought well it's because um there's not enough evidence for me to see that that he was trying to be sexual i think he was just talking he said that he was trying to talk to get her comfortable now i'll admit that is very creepy though for that reason but there wasn't evidence of him trying to be sexual at the time or trying to hide things or something like that. But it wasn't enough evidence for me to officially cut ties with him. Um, so, yeah. But now I've realized that I was right this whole time, that he is a pedophile. I was completely right. And even though I made a dumbass decision on trusting him because... Um, I think Spear Dude on his 3,000 subscribers video, he said that um, he did kind of make a point that there is an evidence of him being a pedophile because, yeah, I mean, as for me, when it comes to me, I don't talk to kids online. I just think it's creepy and I just think it'll make me look bad. So that's why I don't talk to kids online. But. As for him, now, as long, I guess as long as parents have permission, I guess, but like I said, I don't condone talking to kids online. I don't condone Predator stuff, so, yeah, that's probably the most popular thing a Predator would do, is look for kids online. So, now, what made me think that he's a pedophile again, now again? Well, earlier today, uh, Felicia said, uh, said, well... Well, sent the video to the Venom Spirit community on Instagram that I believe she found a video um, exposing Umbrella Robster. It's the same video that I showed earlier, the video. And I I looked a little bit on that. I didn't go into further detail, so I just went on about my business. And then later the same day, Umbrella was live. And then um, it, I think it was like an open form stream. And then all of a sudden, Kadeem the King showed up and um he is starting to confront him and there's what made me realize that he's a pedophile now he is acting guilty whenever he starts confronting him about it umbrella was changing the su he keeps trying to change the subject like if you're not really a pedophile and you know for sure you haven't done it you wouldn't even try to change the subject you would really you, sh you should defend yourself from this but you did it you try to change the subject because you are caught so what does that tell you people and then um he even mentioned that he tried to get spear dude and jackal gold kick into this so they could help him get out of this i'm, I'm gonna explain that uh spirit of jackal gold kick thing in a minute um and my first thought is, what do they have to do with this situation? Like, seriously, there is no getting out of this. You are guilty. I mean, if you're so innocent, you would be explaining the situation. Let's say Michael Jackson, for example. He didn't try to talk his way out of this. You want to know why? Because he was innocent. There are so much interviews saying say that he explained the situation. Now, I'll admit, yes, Michael Jackson sleeping with kids on the same bed is kind of creepy, but... He's not being sexual with him. And how I know he's innocent is because he didn't try to change the subject. He didn't try to leave or like a coward. He explained all of it. Plus, there's more evidence that he's innocent. But this is not about Michael Jackson's child molestation situation going on. And here's another example. Randy Blythe, the late singer from Lamb of God, he is also proven innocent because, one, he accidentally killed a fan he killed a fan in self-defense and guess what he wasn't trying to get out of it so so that's why he was proven innocent and there's a lot more proof of that but you try to get out of it and not only that you actually deleted the latest string thankfully i had the first couple of seconds of kadeem showing up so here's the proof for you guys 
transfer um, a scanner Kadeem virtualization. Oh, hey. uh, all right, now, nah, uh, what up, everybody? What up, umbrella? Now, nah, right, look, bro, up, check this out, man. So now I'm associated with you, bro, and now I'm hearing some shit about you, and I wanted to come on your stream to tell you about it because that's the type of person I am. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, what, what is it with this bullshit with you talking to, to underage girls and all this shit? What, 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 what's up with that? Um, wait, what do you actually uh, mean by that? There's supposed to be a chill stream. Could you not a confirm? Man, no, 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 no. It is a chill stream, but, 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 but everybody ain't asking the right, the right questions. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I do remember him saying that he tried to bring Spirited and Jackal Gold Kick into this. That's why he even said that's why I bring Spirited and Jackal Gold Kick into this. Now, this is what really got me thinking on this part. I don't think Umbrella was ever a true fake friend. I think he's a fake friend to Spear Dude and Jackal Gold Kick. How do I know? One, Jackal Gold Kick said that Umbrella tried to get him to make a video of why he's not a pedophile on Spear Dude's. 3,000 3, subscri subscri subscribe YouTube special video. And uh, and even um, Spiritu shows screenshots on um, him going after uh, Spiritu about this. The reason why I haven't brought this up earlier is because, like I said before, there wasn't any enough evidence to make me think that he's a pedophile. Well, I kind of did at the time, but stupidly I gave him another chance, which I did explain all that before. Um, until now. Anyway, um, yeah. I mean, I'm glad Jackal Gold Kick cut ties with him, but Spear Dude hasn't found out yet, so uh, let's see what he has to say about that. But, yeah, I just don't see a reason for fucking with this guy again. I just can't. I just can't be friends with this guy ever again. I, I blocked him, everything. I'm done with him for good. No more chances. None of that shit. You are done. We're done. I'm done with you. Don't try to talk to me again, Umbrella. So, yeah. I don't care if he tries to make a video on me. Like I said, I'm not here for drama. I just had to, I just had to address things for this video. And I, I really didn't want to make a video today, but I have to. So, yeah. Um, I, uh, well, one more thing, but it's not really important. But I'm just going to bring this up anyway. Do y'all think Umbrella's really a good friend to y'all? Like, I mean, I understand he got Spear Dude up to 3,000 subs, and he supported Jackal Gold Kick by donating to him. I I understand that's what friends do, but him trying to get Spear Dude into this situation where he has no business in dealing with, and both Jackal Gold Kick, but he only brought these two over to to defend him not everyone else so that's got me really thinking on that is was he ever a true friend to y'all no he's just a subscriber to y'all real friends don't get friends for go for okay let me say this real friends don't get their fr friends into their own situation that they're not in business of and that it's your own fault so you can get out of it no you don't really care about your friend you're just caring for yourself Friend, real friends don't do that. I don't even do that to my friends. When I'm in a situation that it's my fault, I don't bring my friends into this. Yeah, Umbrella, you're a fuck. You're a fake friend, dude. But yeah, anyway, yeah, that's it. That's that's all I have to address here for this video. So I'm out.